Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Trine number 018-4 WHT. This is a white two-button transmitter. We have one right here. Uh, typical transmitter in the sense that transmitter and receiver go together. Generally, videos where we detail everything are with the receiver. So this video will just point you in the right direction of the resources, the installation instructions, what you get in the package. Uh, etc. So this is the the white finish WHD two button transmitter light inside of here. It's going to include a couple of uh, pieces of self adhesive um, hook and loop style tape. Should you be needing to install that somewhere? Uh, we'll also include the installation instructions. These installation instructions are also linked to down below, and we'll take a look look at that in a moment. It weighs about 0 0.08 pound, so quite small petite and light overall length about 2 and 15 sixteenths overall width about an inch and three eighths the thickness up at the top appears to be about a half of an inch or so let's now switch to the screen view where we can take a closer look at the supporting documentation if you are enjoying this video please click thumbs up or like and also please consider subscribing to our channel let's move on to the rest of the video here is the item that we are indeed looking at. Factory image there. Let's take a look at some images of the item. That's everything in the box. Close up of the two button transmitter. A little closer yet. Backside. Hook and loop tape and the installation instructions. White. You can get these in red, black, and blue. Let's do a search for Trine 018 in the site. Let's see what comes up. Black, BLK, BLU, RED, WHT. So there, there are your colors. Eight transmitters per receiver. So the receiver, uh, which is the 017TDC-4, will take up to uh, eight transmitters. LED indicates the oper uh, operation. Rolling code technology provides self-learning and four plus billion codes. There's an A23 battery included in this. Let's take a look and see what an A23 battery looks like. Okay. Short little battery that kind of looks like a double, uh, to me, a double A battery, just a shorter version of it um, is what it generally looks like to me. Okay. And then again, the wireless controller that this goes with is linked to here. You can hop over there and take a look at that. Installation instructions. Let's dive into those. So the installation instructions with transmitters are generally everything that you need um, documentation-wise to do an entire system, meaning it's really with the receiver that you, of course, are going to need to do some type of programming uh, on this or pay a pairing or mating of the two together. But let's take a close look and as it pertains to our 018 rolling code protocol, 433 megahertz. Now they're saying a CR2032 battery is included with the transmitter. That may be that little flat round one. Yeah, okay, so we're we've got some discrepancy here. I'm gonna get the screwdriver and we're gonna pull out that screw and see what's actually behind there uh, is what I'll do. Okay, we'll discover what it actually is. I'll update the uh, profile once I Switch back to the screen view. This talks about the uh, wiring uh, for your controller. You have these different, um, you know, basically outputs here. Your relays, really. Uh, don't I mean they're they're um, they allow you to switch other things, is what it is. Common one, common two. Normally open, normally closed. One and two. The item will go through here talking about other things that can be triggered with this. So with this controller, you can have wireless, you know, control over an electric strike. Um, you know, whatever 
piece of hardware you can remotely control that the controller has the ability to handle the voltage and amperage that will you know uh, be required to operate that hardware that system would be able to do that pretty simple and straightforward that's what your relay looks like this is what would be called a form C common and then normally open normally closed also known as single pole and double throw how to pair remote to controller you need to pair the 018-4 remote to the controller to work to pair the remote follow these steps push push the PRG button on the controller the LED light next to the PRG button will turn on indicating that it's ready to pair push any of the, either of the two buttons on the transmitter to start pairing and the controller will blink to indicate that pairing is successful Okay. For additional remotes, do the same procedure as one and two above. It's pretty simple. Open the controller to programming. Push a button or buttons. Uh, I don't know that you can do both. Push any of the two buttons. Hmm. Well, test it. Let me know if it requires two buttons, if that's an option, or if it's button one or two. You would think if there was a third option, you could um, you can do that. Yeah, it, it, it won't. It, it, it's, it indicates here the mode selector switches 1 and 2. Control what 1 and 2 do together. Time delay is talked about here. And then, of course, back to button 1 and button 2 dip switches. Throwing them all to on um, won't give you a button 3, so, so to speak. Troubleshooting in the back page, and I'll leave that up to you to discover. Hopefully you don't need to turn there. I find that I never do with, with trying. Now there is a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page. And when you click on that, you'll be able to pull up not only all of the trying products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the current product catalog. Um, I would suggest that you review trying. They have a relatively petite footprint in the industry. Um, which, to me, you know, if you're looking for an electric strike, um, you won't be bombarded with things outside of what you're looking for. They have a comprehensive offering of electric, of electric strikes for different applications, whether it be, as they show here, cylindrical locks, st aluminum storefront mortise locks, exit devices. They have an exterior rated strike. Um, I had a client, uh, maybe it's been last year at this point, um, have an exterior gate that they needed to be able to control. Trine has a unit that they rate for an outside exterior gate application. That's what we went with. Worked out really good. Um, their catalog is fairly simple and straightforward. Their capabilities are pretty comprehensive. They do very much uh, market their accomplishments. They're very proud of their entire strike line being very small, compact, robust, etc. I personally like them because 100% of the time that I call their tech support, they 100% of the time either answer my call or they call me back. And that's what it takes. So really good technical support from the Trine folks. Let's switch back to the uh, screen view and let's discover what battery is in here. And admittedly, when I was talking about the AP23, I'm thinking in my head, is that remote large enough to fit that AP23? Um, so let's pull that screw off. I use, I like these screwdrivers from Weha. They're not cheap, but they're really good quality. Um, you have to really abuse the screwdriver before you will deform that tip. They have, they have this rolling uh, little button in the end so that hours spent doing this, you're not gonna leave a divot in your palm of your hand. Sierra 2023. Okay. That's what's in there. Sorry, Sierra 2032. 
what's in there. See if we can get the camera to focus on that for us. There you go. Okay, so mystery solved on that. And I'm going to put that all back the way I found it. Um, now, as to finish up what I was saying earlier about their tech support, um, you know, trying. Trine is very uh, responsive. Um, very nice gentleman that I speak to there every time. Very, very, very nice bedside manner, so to speak. Every manufacturer provides good tech support. They just all do. And you have to when you're in the, you know, electrified hardware industry that is slowly, forever, continuing to overtake mechanical hardware. Um, but the, my point is this. They're not under the umbrella of a multinational, multi-billion dollar corporation that has resources that when you call into the tech support pool, you'll speak to this person and they might wear several different hats. The fact that Trine executes, responds, replies, gets you the answer. Um, and they're doing that out of their own moxie without that corporate umbrella that they're under, as far as I know. Um, to me is impressive, and that's why I mentioned it. I'd like to, I will shoehorn their products into the project every time that I can. Um, and my family's been selling Trine for decades. Um, most people will think of Trine as their low end strikes. The 012 uh, strike comes to mind. Uh, they have um, a whole series of residential uh, strikes that they offer. Um, and in their website, you'll find that in the catalog, you'll find it as well. Um, and as a result, I think people have, and I'm looking at their 012, um, the uh, other items, and it appears as if they are transitioning some of that material into the 00, yeah, the, the, the 00 electric strike 00. That is just a, in Chicago, there are countless three flats that have that buzzer on the front common door. Um, that's pretty common. The 004 is not uncommon. The 005 is not uncommon. The, I think people think of Trine as those cheap strikes. Well, people love them. They buy them all the time. They know they're going to break, but they're so inexpensive um, that they continue to buy them. But don't let that be your mindset. I never use those low-end strikes. I'm always using their grade one material, and I have found 100% satisfaction with them, especially that exterior rated one. I would have heard by now if that strike had failed, and it hasn't. So there you go. Any questions on the 018-4WHT or any other Trine product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.